Hi, today I'm going to show you how to import CSV file into your database using SQL Developer. Uh, this is my CSV file open. Now, the first thing you notice is my first line has the name of my column. So that's the first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column, sixth column, and seventh column. And one thing you know, also notice is each data has begins with a quotation, ends with a quotation, and it's separated by comma so that's the data that's going into that column the data going into that one and if you look at these columns any column doesn't have a quotation means it's an integer or number value so the next thing we're going to do is open sql developer sql developer is now open and i'm just going to log in into my database After opening my database, you see there's no table in the data. There are two ways to do this. The first way is either to create the table and import the data into the table you've created previously, or to import the data and let Oracle create a brand new table for you in the process. So we're going to right click on the table folder, click on import data, choose the source of the data we want to import, the source of the CSV file. And in this case, mine is here. If you notice, this is a preview of the data. You can click that button to limit how many rows you want to preview. I'm just going to click that so it will display all the rows. All right, and there you go. We're getting a warning that there's an invalid data in the CSV file, which is, I'm guessing the reason why it's invalid is because of this uh, slash here. That data is not going to input into the database, but we can fix that later on. Press OK. So now I'll press Next. We'll give you a table name, which is the table we want to create, and I'm just going to call that table AAA Airport. You can also limit the input row, but because we want all the tables to go to the database, we're not going to be limiting the input row. You press next. Okay, uh, you can also select the columns you want to import here. If you don't want to import all the tables, you can remove uh, all the columns, you can remove the ones you don't want to import here, and I'll press next as well. Okay, it's still showing us that bad uh, data here, but we'll fix it later on. Press OK. Okay. So, yeah, we're getting another error here. And the reason we're getting this error is because long is a reserved word in Oracle. So, we're just going to change the name of that column as well. Uh, you can change the length uh, of the columns. I always change them, and I'm going to be changing them to just random number that should be fine that should be fine that might be an issue and country that should be fine as well and uh i'll just press next you can check the settings here you the settings you configured and everything is okay you can press finish we're still getting that error regarding the column with uh invalid data just click pressing yes uh, it won't stop your data from importing. It will just give you. It just wouldn't import that role into the database. And there you go. That's the role that's not importing into the database yet. Any role that doesn't import into the database will appear at the end of the importing process. And since we know what the issue is, we're just going to remove those two slashes here and press. And there you go. The role has been inserted into the database now. Okay. One thing I always advise to do is to commit the data just in case. Don't want to lose your data. And there you go. So now if we refresh our table folder again, you will notice we now have a table inside. And there you go. That's the table that was just created for us. Now we're just going to open this table up to view the data inside. And we click on data here. And there you go, we have all our data in the database and the table. The first one, there you go, is there. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns in the table as well, which have seven columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you very much for watching and let me know if you have any questions.